Hey, it's Trey, and welcome back to my desk, and welcome to 2021. Yay! So, I thought I would start off this year with a tag that I saw going around called uh, 10 Books to Finish, and I want to share that with you now. I've picked out 10 books. I've picked out only one book per author, so... Let's get started in no particular order, then really size. <laughs> We're going to start with this little Alice in Wonder Wonderland. There's no tea in that. <clears throat> so I am going to do these in watercolor. And this is something that I had started back in 2018. And I used watercolor pencils. And then I used a metallic watercolor in the background. You can kind of see it. And that was kind of my rule. All these are done the same with watercolor pencils and then some kind of metallic watercolor in the background. So I'll continue to do that. And I just kind of dropped off. I don't even know what date I did this one. <laughs> I did this one this year. So I had ten I had intended on picking it back up and finishing it, but uh, as you can see I did one. So I got all these to go. <laughs> but yeah, that's one of the books that I want to finish. Um This is actually a recent purchase. I got it at Dollar General for three bucks. Can you believe it? So yeah, I haven't actually colored anything in here. But I just I just love the style. It's so cute. So I definitely want to finish this book. This is the only book I have by him. And it's such an iconic colorist book. I was like, yeah. And I think that it's easy enough because I have like Myth, mythographic. I have mythographic um, by a different company and some of them you get down in there and you're like what is this? And it just becomes like the muddied mess sometimes. But with Kirby you can it's not you can kind of see you can really see you know all his little creatures and everything even though it's a lot when you really start drilling down into it you can see oh yeah that's part of the tree you know oh yeah that that's the tree and that's part of the tree okay that's that's a little background that's there you know you can see that that's a background and you can follow it around but when you, I'm doing mythographic, it's like, okay, there's a background, and I'm, like, coloring it. And then all of a sudden, I get over here, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Maybe that wasn't the background at all, because now it looks weird. I don't know. But this one, I definitely want to finish. That was a weird ramble. <clears throat> uh, Lost Ocean is what I picked out for my Bassford book. And, um... I just thought it would be really fun to do the fish and jellyfish and all that. And I haven't, again, this is more recent purchase. And I haven't colored anything in this. So I thought it would be a really neat fresh start book that I want to finish. Um, this, <laughs> my poor squeaky chair, this one is a three book set and this is the first book and I got it of course at Dollar General. I got all three at Dollar General and I thought it was such a score. I was like I'm definitely some my goal is actually to color all three of the books but this will be the book that I start with and I'm kind of saving it. This is going to be one of the last series probably. I don't want to say last series but of the, of the 10 books that I want to finish, this will probably be on the tail end of it because I really want to um, brush up my coloring style and all that before I tackle this book because I want to make it really consistent. And I think that's the only way I can really do it. So this is kind of my saving it for a little bit. My husband picked out this book. Um... I don't know why that's all askew. Um, 
it's Wendy the Pew. I wanted one book that was a kid's book that I have. This is actually a more of an older book. It was printed in 2010 and I got it at a thrift store. And I don't think it's been colored in or if it had been, they took out the pages. Um, but yeah, I thought this one, um, I just kind of put out two or three books and for my husband and I said which one and he picked out this one and I was like good choice because I was kind of wanting to do this one anyways I think it's just a, a really unique style for a kids book um, creative edge I believe is the company yeah creative edge I've never heard of creative edge before so that's interesting um, but I enjoy their images are really nice because you've got some delicate ones and then you've got some more, you know, that'll be fun. Some bigger images. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. I want to do this one really, really bad. <laughs> and I have not started this one. I don't think, no, I have not started this one at all. This is more of a storybook kind of thing. I love Julia Rivers. Oh, Julia Rivers, yes. So I'm really looking forward to, to doing this one. I think it's going to be really fun. And I am really thinking about going with red tones and blue tones for Alice. So Alice will be in blue, and then everything will, else will be reds, you know, versions of red, reddish browns, those, those kind of things. So I'm going to have to start, uh, before I even start this coloring book, I'll have to sit down and do some color combinations of what I want so that I can uh, achieve what I want to achieve, but I think it'll look really cool if I can do it. That'll be interesting. This is kind of a newer purchase well by my beloved Bendon. You know I love me some Bendon. I got this at Ollie's for $1.99. It's regularly $5.99, Living Neon. And this is a really interesting book because it's made to be used with highlighters. So I think that's really cool. Uh, I definitely am going to do a lot of this with highlighters, but I also have like some multicolored pens, uh, which I thought I had right here, but I must have moved them. Um, I thought might be, oh, that'll be pretty with highlighters. So yeah, I, I figured a lot of these are going to be really easy and quick to do, and I think it'll be fun. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that. All right. <clears throat> uh, Alice's Nightmare in Wonderland, another one. Uh, Jonathan Green it wrote the story. Kev Crossley is the artist. He is an amazing artist. I love him. I've actually done um, a few of these. So the theme of this is that I'm going to have some kind of uh, stenciled background, I think is my rule. I like, I just like making rules for myself like that. I don't know why. It just makes it more fun for me to find some way to incorporate the rule or, you know, the challenge. I started this one. This one really reminds me of the painting that was on the Guns N' Roses album. Appetite for Destruction. I don't know if, if a lot of people know or not, but the Appetite for Destruction was the name of the painting, and it just reminds me of that in a lot of ways. So I started that, and I know I, ha I thought I had done another one. Yes. So I did this one. I think that's it. But the images are nice and big, and now that I got my Prismas, uh, yes, I got the full set of Prismas for Christmas. So now that I have them, I think it'll be really, really fun to tackle this because I think I am going to do it in pencil and practice shading and all that. All right. This is also a newer purchase. Um, Ollie's had a whole bunch of their, hold on, 
I don't want to say a whole bunch. They had maybe four for the Quirkle books. I'm not even sure how many Quirkle books there are. Um, but yeah, if you're not familiar with Quirkles, you pick five colors. And uh, I think it's, is it lightest to darkest? It's been a while. Sorry, darkest to lightest. And then you color it. And I'm actually going to use crayons to do this. And I haven't done anything in this. I do have a, I, I did pick up, I had one Quirkle book. And then I think I picked up three more when I was at Ollie's. So the first Quirkle book that I have, I, I have done one or two. So yeah. So I would like to finish this one first. So I think that'll be fun. And last but not least, Spiroglyphics and also Music Icons. The other one was Icons. This one's Music Icon. Excuse me. Same dude. Different adult attack. Different adult activity. And I've done several of these. This gives you some ideas of what you can do. So we got Madonna, Jimi Hendrix, Mick Jagger. That yellow is just so wild. <laughs> Beyonce in green. I just finished this one last night and it's uh, John Lennon and he's in a metallic green and it, it it looks really cool. I'm showing you the shine there, but yeah, it does look really cool. I may do another metallic one and I had to jump over and make sure I had to look in the back to make sure that I made prints in purple because if I didn't, he would haunt me for the rest of my life. All right, guys. That's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! What a challenge. Now, I, I have no intention of getting these done in a year, but I am going to set them aside as goals and I'm going to be giving updates so that you'll get to see throughout the years, because <laughs> it probably will be years, um, what gets finished. This will be the one I'll probably try to finish first. Either that or the um, spiroglyphics, because I've really gotten into doing that lately while I've been watching YouTube. But thanks for hanging out with me. I do all the YouTube things with a thumbs up, a comment. Hit me up down below on what are some of your com comic books, coloring books, <laughs> that you would like to finish. Are you working on one? I'd like to know what you guys are planning on doing in 2021 and let me know what you'd like me to do in 2021 here as we spend our time together. Until next time, be inspired and go out and inspire. Bye.